Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm here with my good friend, city manager, Jan Brathwaite. It's uh, always a pleasure to hang with you. You know yeah. that? Yes. How you doing? Say, I'm good. It's a pleasure to hang with you. Yeah. You're always yeah. looking fresh. Yes. I feel good, I you, think. You, you, yeah. look, you look good. good. That's good. That's good. Now, you, um, you're a member of the HS Stout Celebration Committee. Hmm? And you got big plans uh, coming up. Uh, uh, what is that? On the Monday the seventh. Monday the Monday the seventh. Mm -hmm. uh, not as elaborate as you usually have. No, not. But you seem to be taking a different perspective. Yes, um, we've the committee has come up with the decision to ensure that we celebrate the life of H. L. Stout. Um, and the the years we're doing it in five year spans. So the five years would be the big thing. So we did the twentieth last year. So this year is the 21st. Um, and so we need to still ensure that generations to come understand who the great man was and his major contributions to the growth and development of the territory. And so this year we're looking at his life as a lay preacher in the Methodist Church. Yeah. It's 20 years already since 20 years, and yes. that's something. Yes. Yeah. I had just uh, I had just come home. Uh, I think it was what, um, it was Mother's Day, nineteen ninety five. Yes. Right. Right. Exactly. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. I remember clearly. I remember exactly what I was doing, where I was, <laughs> and what I was doing uh, I, when I heard the news. It was yeah. really, um, really, really something quite unexpected. Yeah. Um, you know, you actually was at the hospital coming out while he was going in. So for me, it's something that I don't think I'll ever be able to forget. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> yeah, what you're having um, more of a, a, a church-centered uh, event this year, uh, more of a spiritual event, uh, dealing with his life as a, a lay preacher and, and singing a lot of the songs that he loved and enjoyed. Mm -hmm. And so talk to us about what's coming up. Actually, um, we actually putting it on as a recital, not just, not a church service per se. Mm -hmm. We don't think we have any exhortations, but um, we're actually doing it in a very high end way. Um, the songs would be songs that the typical Methodist would know. And some of the tunes would be a little bit different from what the typical Methodist would know, because we're actually trying to ensure that we jazz them up a little mm -hmm. bit so that you don't come there to sit and listen to, you know, the songs as we Methodists would sing. Yeah? But we've encouraged the choirs and the artists that are taking part to really take a toll with music and really show it off in, in, in the state that he would have enjoyed it. Well, I know uh, what can be done with the Methodist hymns. Uh, Cause, cause I've been to, cause I've been to the two uh, jazz events, uh, fundraisers mm -hmm. that the the Methodist Church had at Fort Worth Hotel, uh, where your brother, mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, uh, musician extraordinaire Andre <laughs> Andre Bradley, a good friend of mine and mm -hmm. a, a person whom I have uh, tremendous respect for, as a person and as a musician, mm -hmm. and them and he had a group of brothers uh, and sisters at that concert and was singing the Methodist hymns and playing the music to the Methodist hymns like you've never heard it done before with yes, a lot of spirit, uh, jazz. The, the, I mean, the melodies were still there, you know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the, 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 the character of the hymns were still there, mm -hmm. but the flavor was extraordinary. So I know uh, that when we come to the, to the event, it's going to be a really fun time. Yeah. Um and, and I have just one simple regret as, you know, I look at what Andre does. If my father could only see, and if the Honorable H.L. Stout could see, yes. I think they would be extremely proud because they would. Um, daddy used to always say, he'll be a maestro, you know? So, mm -hmm. And sometimes when you see him performing, you have to think about well, it. He is yeah, a maestro. Yeah, I mean, he is a maestro, is a maestro you know? Yeah. Um, and, and he does his work well. He's very proud of what he does. Um, and I know that on Monday the 7th, he'll make, Mr. Stout, who's looking up from somewhere, mm -hmm. very proud. And um, the chairman of my committee, which is Miss Eileen Parsons, she'll also be very, very proud. Yeah. Not to say that um, 
the family would not would not be they would be very proud of what it is he's bringing to the table. Now, uh, everyone knows that uh, Mr. Stout was a lay preacher, but we never hear about what were some of his messages as as a preacher. What um, what were some of the things that he wanted uh, his congregation, his community, to, to 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 feel and to believe in and to to, to take there to their heart. Um, Mr. Stout's um, spiritual journey was a journey where, was a journey of inclusion um, and always ensure that in spite of whatever was going on around you spiritually, you need to remember that there is somebody out there that created you, that you have to give a certain amount of credence to um, and that you needed to follow that part in spite of whatever was going on around you. Um, and from as a child, being around him, I know definitely that that's some of the things that he instilled in not just his children, but all the children who frequented his house. Um, he, he always, he wasn't, he wasn't one for the great big altar call story, but mm -hmm. the altar call message was always there. You know, you have a right to do it. I'm not going to force you to do it. But based on these circumstances, this is something that you, as you, an individual, you need to do. You need to do. Yeah. You know, yeah. I've done it, and no, nothing's wrong with doing it. But you need to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and and it must be said that you spend uh, a lot of time uh, as a as a as a child, as mm -hmm. a family friend, mm -hmm. and in in a relationship with his children. Right. Your family and his family were close. And what was that like for you, um, being able to to sit at his feet? Uh, to be a, uh, a recipient of his guidance and correction and, 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 and you know, and, and, and management. Uh, uh, for me, um, because his daughter Peggy and I, we spent not months, couple days difference in birthdays, um, and we were very close, and then later in life, um, becoming close to Portia. Um, and I was being close to the family, Preston and I, we have our, our good days also. But there's, uh, there was always a situation where, not because I was not your paternal father, I am your father. And so therefore, the, the agreement between my father and his father was, you know, you need to help me train these children, you know, and vice versa. So it was a situation that the kind of discipline I would get at home was the same kind of discipline I would get when I get to Mr. Stout. So there was no difference. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and the same as it relates to Mrs. Stout. Discipline was the order of the day. You know, you did things in a particular way. You did things, you know, right. And mm -hmm. you had to pay the con consequences for things that you didn't do right. And there was no shame to the game. You, you did what you were told. And so I'm um, going up and, and, and spending a lot of time in, in that house at Long Bay, for me, I think has helped me to become a better person um, and I'm sure that you know if he would wake up today he would be proud that he did have a stake in my life. Yeah, good. Now of course uh, he loved music Yes. and, and, and his, 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 the manifestation of that love uh, is in Andre and, <laughs> and, 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 and Dr. Selwood and uh, Mr. Selwood, Arthur mm -hmm. Selwood, uh, Kamau Georges, I mean there's a, 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 a litany of musicians that came out of the secondary school, the BVI high school. Uh, I, you know, that's just unbelievable the amount of talent that came out of that, mm -hmm. out of that school. And I suspect that he may have had something uh, to do with it. What, 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 what was his musical taste? In, in, in he, he, he had a deep love for music because... Being, being, like I said, being in the home, he's always singing, he's always humming. And the hum would be a hum where you don't have a choice, but you have to follow. And I think, um, you know, I, I go to funerals these days and I can sing the funeral hymns without know, looking in a book. And, and that's something between him and daddy that, you know, I learned to do because they always sang around you. So you always had that Methodist taste in your mouth so you would learn the songs because you'd be listening to them you didn't at that time you didn't have any book so you would be listening and picking up um, and I think it's something that not only with um, with the, the Methodist hymns but 
with also some of the old Calypso music because in spite of the fact that they were deep-seated Christian, they heard the message in other music, other yes, types of music yes. also, and, and they, 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 they let you get the opportunity to grow into other music. So you had a wide variety of jargons of music from, 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 from people like H.L. Stout. And he loved music. I mean, there was no time you would not catch him singing. I mean, he'd be writing something, and all of a sudden, he'd just strike up something. And it would encourage you, as a yeah. child, to it just follow. Yeah, 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 just to catchy. follow, you know? Yeah. And, and, and back in those days, uh, you had, I mean, of course, you had the risque music. Mm -hmm. But you had the, the Calypsonians and, and the artists at that time when I was growing up, and, and I suspect went back as, as far back when he, he was a, mm -hmm. a, a young man as well. Uh, there were some important messages. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and, and, and training that used to come through yeah. in, in the music as well. So I could imagine that, it, it, you know, people would say, well, it's not Christian music, but it did have. It um, did have good, its message. It did yes. have good messages. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Of course, uh, we know of Mr. Stout as a, 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 a great leader, mm -hmm. uh, a person with a tremendous vision and, and, and drive to, to get the things that he wanted to, uh, to get uh, done done. Uh, do, do, how, how, how do we how do we? Say that. What, 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 where did that come from? In your, in your view, where, where, did, where did that that that? Because he 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 was a he was a, a educated man, but I I don't remember hearing of him having degrees. And 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 going to study in distant places and and, and I mean did he? Because I I haven't heard that. But that, still, you could tell that he had a high level of education. One, one of the things I'll tell you about. Honorable H.L. Stout was that he danced in some very high courts and he took those, the information he gathered in those high courts and he made it work for him. But he also had a spiritual connection that was far reaching. Um, if you didn't know him, you probably wouldn't feel it. But if you knew him, you knew definitely it was a deep seated thing. I think. You know, you can also say from his early childhood, the, the, his parents raised him and, and nurtured him with spiritual food. And he transcended that spiritual food to get the energy, the courage, the wherewithal to do what he needed to do. Never forgetting from whence he came. Never forgetting. Well, <clears throat> of course, he, 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 he must have had a, a, a lot of faith. Yeah. Because when you look at where we were uh, when I was growing up, mm -hmm. as a, uh, what you, uh, in, 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 in political terms you would call an agrarian society, mm -hmm. in a, a, a farming, uh, fishing farming, uh, 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 small crafts, uh, cottage industries, as they like to say, uh, e economy and community. And, and to, to, to have a vision to make a transfer or transformation from that um, subsist from subsist subsistence farming to uh, the service industry with uh, tourism as a base. Uh, how, that that must have, that must have uh, been some vision. It, it was a vision, um, and I actually happened to be born right in that transition transition period so for me it's it's for me it's 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 very overwhelming sometimes as to to know where we came from i mean the one telephone in mcnamara which is now you know the high society area to you know just getting electricity and and be able being able to tell your your children you know, as you sit in places like Krikomsky, how we've transformed from what we were to what we are. And you get a, you get a sense like, for real? Yeah. You, you were there? And it's a good feeling to say, yes, I was there. You know, today you come, you have everything, including technology. I mean, I, um, I, you know, you, we, we do things at the touch of a button. In those days, you know, you really had to have what it takes to make the things happen. I mean, I remember in those days you, you took a, a, a telegram that came in from Cable and Wireless and the guys would be on a motorcycle 
to take it to whichever end of the BVI. And sometimes they have to push them out through some bushes to get to the house. But we went. And today, you, you sit right in your lap and, and it happens. So, yes, a big part of the vision to move us from where we were to where we are today and, and continue to go. I think you had to have faith and you had to have a lot of courage. It took a lot of courage yes, to yes. turn us to that direction. Yes. And it's a positive direction. Yes. And like you, uh, I, I was fortunate as well to grow up uh, in, in during that transition mm -hmm. uh, uh, period. And, and, and remembered all the dirt roads, yeah. all the, even the, some of the horse paths, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the advent of electricity, you know, because I remember the kerosene lamp like that's it was yesterday. And flambeau, and, you yeah, know. Yeah, that's right. We, <laughs> we, know, we, so made, we made a lot of those yes, things. Yes, you know, so, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking on some of the, the times that we made the trek to Long Bay and we would make the trek over the Ridge Road and come down through Carrot Bay. And, you know, you're in a Land Rover and the navigation to get down there and you're thinking, okay, we're navigating, no, we're in Carrot Bay, so how are we going to get back, <laughs> you yeah, know? Yeah. But we got back, you know, I know you, there was times when we broke shafts and what have you, you know, today we don't break anything, you know, you just drive, the roads are so good. But yeah. I, I, I remember one time, you know, he was, we, he was, that, that he was taking us over to Long Bay and we broke a shaft and, you know, he and my, his brother, you know, did what they had to do on the dirt road to get it done. And then I saw them moving stones out of the way so that when we came back, we didn't have to deal with that treacherous road, you know. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But, um, but then by the time you got to Long Bay, the atmosphere was so good. Sometimes 11 o'clock at night, we ain't leave Long Bay because we just having such a good, good time, time, you know, yeah. families and so forth. You know, so a very entertaining man. Very, very entertaining. Yeah. Now, I, I, I usually put uh, Mr. Stout in a, a, a group, in a group of men uh, in, the, in the Virgin Islands mm -hmm. that to me were our forefathers, our, our visionaries mm -hmm. and our action men. I mean, and, and, and now that I'm mature enough to look back on history and understand what actually happened to us, mm -hmm. uh, it, it was it was it's just it, it never ceases to amaze me, the 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 ingenuity, the creativity, the courage, the resilience, the strength mm -hmm. of character, the moral values of these men in our community. Mr. Stout being one of them, your father, my father, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Warren and Dawson, uh, Kenneth Chalwell. Those were in my district that mm -hmm. I remember, mm -hmm. and and I'm sure there were many in in in, in, in town mm -hmm. as well, that literally clawed uh, uh, their way, you know, mm -hmm. out of the earth the things that we needed to, to to get to where we are. And in that process, ensuring that their children got the kind of education that would sustain us. Carriers, uh, carriers, yeah, you know, I mean, really interesting. I mean, um, today, today I can look back at early McNamara and, and look at, you know, the, the fact that the both Mr. O'Neill's, Honorable Ralph T. O'Neill and J.R. O'Neill, Honorable Cyril Romney, yes. I mean, you know, Mrs. Eileen Parsons, Ira Smith, you know, right there in McNamara, ensuring that their children got what it took to ensure that this country would be able to sustain itself. So, and Mr. Stout is no less. He did the same for his children, you know. I but know he could say in the sense that he was, he was leading, leading, the, leading the process, charge, leading you know. The, but, the um, and, and, and at the same time, you know, you sit here and you say, wow. You know, at the time I was like, why do you think we need to go to college? But it's a good thing we went, you know, because now we can really push through the annals of history. Yeah, well, we, we, we did, I mean, listen, they weren't even studying you when you talk about why you were going to college. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and I mean, we gonna talk. We gotta take a break. But we gonna talk about that. <laughs> we gonna talk about that. <laughs> right. That our parents and education is unlike any other parent and education to Definitely. me in the world. Yep. You Definitely. know, keep it locked right in the spot. Let me be right back, right after these words from our sponsors. Spotlight is brought to you by Tortola Concrete Limited, the National Bank of the Virgin Islands and CCT Global Communications. Welcome back to Spotlight. 
Uh, Madge Wenka, and if you just join us, I'm here with City Manager uh, Jan Bradwich. She's also a member of the Lavity South, H. Lavity South Community, Community College, H. Lavity South <laughs> Holiday Celebrations. And we have a conversation that I always enjoy. I, I like to talk <laughs> about I talk about this all night, you know, about our forefathers, and, and I just admire. Uh, it, it's such a, it's, they were such role models, mm -hmm. and I just uh, admire uh, how they, from, where, from whence they came with having nothing like what we have today, enabled us to have what we have today, mm -hmm. how they were able to do that. that. That is an amazing, that's an amazing story that I think really needs to be told. Definitely. Uh, and our history yeah. needs to be told in a way where we get that sense of pride in our history instead of just names and dates, like how history is usually told <laughs> yeah. in the form of names, names and dates, but instead in, in the form of uh, perspective, uh, you know, genius, ingenuity, and, and creativity, and courage. But we were talking, we left off talking about education. Right. And how, of course, uh, Mr. Stout made sure that, but all, I think basically, you, you, if, you, if you look at all the leaders now, or the majority of leaders now, uh, Robert Metavius, Roddy Skelton, mm -hmm. uh, Jerry Ferrara, uh, Dancia Penn. Uh, I, I, think, I think all, all the leaders and the people in the society, who are, whether they're politicians or lawyers or business accountants people. or business people, uh, that they came through a period where Mr. South uh, made sure that you went to the University of the West Indies. Yes. Or so you mm -hmm. went somewhere. You went somewhere. Yeah. Uh, and, and looking at the fact that, you know, those people went somewhere, instilling the fact that we, we could stay here and do it. Which is, that's just like so amazing, you know. You know, you, you as a young person left from here and you probably went to the U.S. because you had family there or you went to yes. the U.K. because you had family there or you had some connection there. And today, our children can stay right here. That's like phenomenal, yeah. you know, that we can stay here at least and get an education. That's like, you know, it, it, uh, it took a man with poof, fortitude, courage, strength, yeah. ability to break all the barriers it, for it, us to have education right here in the BVI. I it, mean, it, that's not just a simple yeah, thing. Tertiary education. Yes, that's yeah, not a simple yeah, fit, you know. Education. That's not yeah. a simple fit. And, you know, as, as I sit here and I remember um, one year when we did From Zion Hill to the legislature and you followed his story, you know, it's, it's an interesting story, you know, that, we, you know, children who actually go to HLSCC, Probably don't even know, and and need to know. Don't don't know the history. Do you understand? Yeah. And, and need to know. They need to yeah. understand why they're where they're at, and how they got to where they're and at. And how important that institution to, right. is, and and continues to be. Yes, I, 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 you know. So, and I'm sure that Miss um, P is probably listening and thinking that maybe, maybe one of these days we will actually talk about that and that institution and the history, and what what got us to where we are today. Well, I mean, in, in speaking of courage and fortitude, uh, there was a lot of resistance yeah. uh, to HLSCC. And today, 25 years later, and, and 25 years is, is relatively young mm -hmm. uh, for institution of higher learning when you compare it to other institutions around the world that are yeah. hundreds of years it's old. old. Yep. You know what I mean? 25 mm -hmm. years old, you, you're just a young adult. Right. You know, and here you are. Uh, accredited institution right. where now uh, the, 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 the information that you're getting and the quality of education that you're receiving at this institution has been acknowledged to be on par with other institutions uh, worldwide. Yep. That is uh, you a, know, and, a, a, and, and, quite a, a phenomenal achievement. And you, you say that and, and you sit there and you say, boy, Mr. Stout. Yeah, you know, would where, he where, be where, able to fathom all of this? You know, yeah, it's like, I mean, where, it's where like, did he, yes, where, did he, where did he come from? You know, you yeah, are, and yeah. and and then you move forward, and you were like, wow. If you know, sometimes you just say, if he would just open one eye today, he would be like so amazed. But I think he'd also be happy for taking that step of faith. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. But what I wanted to get to was the, the importance that all of those um, men and all, of the, all the, the, our 
um, for parents, men and women, mm -hmm. the emphasis uh, that they put on education, that they place on education, the whole com the whole community. I mean, I, I don't. I'm, I'm sure it was the same for you when you were growing up. But growing up in East End, uh, everybody in the village knew the terms. You know, the, the school mm -hmm. semesters. Right. You know, the length. The, the, uh, the mm -hmm. lengthen, lengthen term, yes, the, oh, advent term, an advent term. Yes. They know, they know when the when when school the term started and when the school the term, uh, the term ended, end, mm -hmm. right? And you know, we walking on the street, and at that time it used to be, uh, what you know, what position you were in your class. Class, yes, right. Remember, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like if you had an A or a B or a C. Yeah, but it was what position, position you had in yeah. your class. Or did you, or were you first, second, third, third, fourth? Yeah. And I remember everybody. You at the end of the term, you walk down the street. Everybody, everybody, Miss Helen, Miss Flossie, Miss Amabel, Miss Dali, Miss Abandi, Miss Ed, everybody asking you, Punchy, why you come? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little fight too. You know, you know what I'm saying? And, and they didn't want to hear nothing below five. They want to hear nothing below five. Nothing below five. You know, don't come with nothing below what, What's wrong with you? Yeah. What yeah, is wrong yeah, with you? Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. And, you and, know? And, and that's, and everybody in the, in the communities focus on making sure that we got an education. Some right. of our parents couldn't read. Right. Some of them couldn't write. But they, but they made sure that mm -hmm. their children could read and write. Yep. And they got they got an education. And I mean, we I, those, to me, those are things that our children are missing. Uh, that knowledge. Yes. Of, of of the significance of where we came from, what we uh, the sacrifices that were made for us, mm -hmm. and the sacrifices that were made for them. Right. And and and. It's no different to the sacrifices that were made during the slave time, you know, because yes. it's it's the same, the same push, the yeah. same drive, same struggles. Yeah, yeah, same struggles, you know, yeah. right, right on our shores, yes. you know. And I think that we need to ensure that our young people understand those struggles because those struggles are important to us as we move forward. Yes. They are important because you need to know from whence you came so you know exactly where you're going. Yeah. So Mr. Stowe, he took us from uh, farming, subsistence farming, and fishing to uh, tourism that brought in a tremendous amount of foreign ex exchange. It was for a long, long time the major economic pillar of mm -hmm. the territory, the product that we were selling. It mm -hmm. turned the, 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 the beauty of the Virgin Islands. We began to realize and acknowledge our natural beauty, turn that... Uh, beauty into a, a cash cow mm -hmm. and, 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 and brought us to the point where we were be able to get, uh, improve our health care, improve mm -hmm. our education system, mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 here we, and here we are now. And all, I think, uh, for the most part, comes out of, is an is a extension of his vision. Right. And he didn't leave us behind because he also put his foot in that financial services sector also. Okay. So, you know, it's tourism, yes, and we did that. And when he saw the need for us to, you know, to take a little shift, he mm -hmm. also made sure that, you know, we had that opportunity open and the opportunity now blooms for us also. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this, uh, this Monday coming up, I think we all need to be. Yes, I think Methodist everybody Church. needs to come out yes. and see what we're putting together and enjoy. That's the seventh. That, that's the seventh of the March, mm -hmm. uh, and that's his actual birthday. And, and his actual birthday mm -hmm. act, actually falls on a Monday. Monday this today, year. this year, and, and um, it's at eight o'clock in the morning yes. at the Rotown Methodist Church. Um, and you come out and have a good time. What I will ensure that you get some warm tea because we know it's early in the morning, so mm -hmm. we'll make sure that you get some bush tea. And I'm sure that Mr. Stout would be somewhere out there smiling at the fact that you know we got up early. On that Monday morning, made, did a celebration in his honor, finished off by laying the wreath in his honor, and then you have the rest of the day for yourself. Okay. We promise not to keep you too long. Okay. So you're going to have the, the, the more well, or a concert, mm -hmm. right? a concert in the church, uh, and then you would go down to, to the... Kaplan's to Bay the, to, to, the to, the, mm -hmm. to, to the week later, lane, yes. To the week lane ceremony. Mm -hmm. So we hope that you'll be finished before the middle of the day. Okay. And so, uh, so my, I'm, I'm understanding you to say that every five years, you're planning to have a grand or event. Right. And, 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 and so these, the, the, the four years in between, would probably lead up to the culmination of that five-year event, where 
within the five-year event, those four years that we've done would tap the cake. So it, it'll be a little bit of each of those four years coming together mm -hmm. to bring the, the grand finale every five years. Mm -hmm. Now, we didn't talk too much about his, his, his governing philosophy. Uh, is there anything you could tell us about that? Because, uh, you know, I used to hear sayings, uh, well, firstly, the, the, his famous saying that came out of Proverbs, where there's no vision, the people, people perish. perish. But he also had other sayings. Uh, one I, I heard of where he would say, uh, one enemy is one enemy too, too many. Too many. Yes. And, 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 and what, what was his, did he have a philosophy that he, that he led by, that he governed by, that he re related with other uh, leaders and, and politicians of his time? Mr. Stott always felt that even if you were his enemy, he had none. And he lived a life of no enemies. I mean, no matter how big, no matter how small, he always made it you know, his business to ensure that he embraced, you know, people, no matter the level from which they came. And I think that was important also. And, and maybe that's one of the reasons he had such a good following because he embraced everybody. He had no um, qualms about going to anywhere. You know, he would sit with kings and princes, but he'd also stay with little people, the farmers, the fishermen, you know, he had no problem sitting on the side of the road, you know, and, and hearing what your, ch your challenges were. Governing um, from, from, from the ruling perspective, I never ever got the impression that he was like, hard and fast on the ruling. He, he, his, his stature commanded a certain amount of respect, and he was given just that. I, I'll never forget one time while I was studying in the UK, he actually came to the UK and decided that there are a number of students in the UK. I need to see all of them. And Mrs. Smith was his PS at the time, and she called me and said, I was way up in the north of London. She said, you need to get down here. And I came down, and the reception was awesome to know that he had students from the British Virgin Islands out there studying. And he wanted to know how they were actually doing, you know, and, and up, on a personal note. It wasn't mm -hmm. just that he sat in the room with all of us, but he wanted to hear each person's story. and whatever he could do to assist in, in that story, to make life easier for you in a foreign country, he did. So, you know, I mean, an awesome man, a really awesome man, which I have no problem in helping to make sure that this celebration is top. It's successful. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I ask it in the, in, in the context of uh, a, a politician role model. Mm -hmm. or, or a role model for politicians, because today uh, politics has seemed has seemed to take on such a, 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 a undertone of of, of, of hostility mm -hmm. and, and, and 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 competitiveness that I was, I was just wondering if that we could look in, to him or to, and look to, to that period when he was governing and when he was the leader of the Virgin Islands Party and. And, 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 and what was happening in, 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 in the political arena and how they related in terms of people coming together to further the interests of the territory as opposed to just opposing, opposing and being negative, negative. Um, I never... Because I was East End, you see, and I didn't get yeah, too much. but I never... <laughs> I, I mean, they, 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 I'm sure there were incidents where they, you know, he had to command, mm -hmm. but... The outward persona always proved a, 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 a group of inclusion. Um, let's try to move forward. Let, let, let's make amends and let's try to make, move forward. Um, and, and you say what you say, but at the same time, I guess from where I sit, I feel that even though they, 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 there may be the aggression today, there's still the underlying toe we need to do it like Mr. Stout. You still, you know, you get in arenas and even though, you know, you feel what the politicians have, is, you still feel that we still need to give Mr. Stout some credence. So we need to take it a little easy. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it doesn't always show, but I guess from where I sit, I mm -hmm. see that, that, you know, he was a model. We need to continue to follow the model. In spite of whatever's going on, we need to. I don't know that we're handling it as well mm -hmm. as he handled it. But I know that but the there's civility, an effort. The civility you can, needs to be there. there. Yeah, yeah. The, the you civility know, needs to be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in, his, in his honor, at least. Yeah, at least. At least. Yes. Well, it's good to see you. Good to see and you, too. Of course, we want to encourage everyone to come out on come the 7th. 
Mm -hmm. uh, Monday morning is 8 p.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Yeah, morning, morning is 8 a.m. Yeah, right? mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> 8 a.m. at the Methodist Church in Rotel. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a, a treat. It's going to yes. be um, all the, the hymns that he loved. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, with a, uh, a, a, a jazz touch. A jazz touch. And uh, some, you know, some. I guess a, a couple of speeches and yeah, and, not and not so too on. many of not them, but many. yes, so but a, a few, just a it's, few. It's, yes, it's gonna be a, a musical. It's a musical. It's we, a musical. You know, we're not we're not doing too much talking. Um, yeah. I think we've we've been sure that the MC actually helps us to follow the rule, but um, yeah, not too much talking. Looking forward to a great celebration. Yes, on, uh, I am on the seven, and thank. Thanks again mm. for, for hanging out there. Don't Welcome. stay away so long. We got a lot of things to talk about. <laughs> a lot of things to talk about. To, yes. to having you back on Spotlight or to having the Spotlight shine on you. Oh, yeah? As a, <laughs> yeah, as a city manager. Because yes. you got a lot of um, things yes. to answer for. We'll be back. I'll be back soon. <laughs> yes, we need to talk about a lot of things. Cool. Uh, next week, the Spotlight will shine on the needs of the elderly, of the elderly in our community. With, uh, Dr. Cindy mm -hmm. George of Samoge Counseling and Consultation. She's going to be here with me. And we're going to be talking about um, what we need to do to help our seniors to have an improved quality of life in their, uh, their later years. So make sure you're here. Don't miss that. The Spotlight, of course, is seen every Tuesday at 8 p.m. here on JTV Channel 55. And we broadcast every Sunday at 2.30 p.m. You can watch Spotlight on Demand at jtvlive.net. I'd like you to like our Facebook page at Spotlight, at Facebook.com slash Spotlight BVI. Like our page. We need some likes. We need to know that people are, uh, I know that you're watching, but I need it in documented form. So please like our page. Find out, of course, about our upcoming guests so you can suggest guests and topics of your own. I'm Ed Jurenka reminding you that when the Spotlight is on, you see the facts. Remember to add more positive. Peace and blessings. Spotlight is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands and CCT Global Communications.